Hi everyone, Visual Effects tutorial here. Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, and how to animate uh, parameters and shapes in 3D Studio Max in, in a really simple way. This is gonna be a basic tutorial, really short. So, let's begin. For example, let's um, create a new shape, three dimensional shape like a box. Okay, here is our box. We can change every parameter we want. We can rotate it, scale it, move it. But what if we want to do this thing through through the time uh, to animate these parameters? Like if I want to move uh, this box from here to here, there is a really simple way to do it in 3D Studio Max. This way is called keyframes. Keyframes are uh, interpolates uh, animation parameters through through the time. For example, let's see. First thing, activate auto key is the fastest way to animate with keyframes in 3D Studio Max. So press it. Okay, it appears a red bar here in the timeline if you press auto key. So begin here, the uh, frame zero, uh, the box has this position, let's move uh, to frame 20. We change the position and we, when we change a parameter, auto key automatically generates a new keyframes, uh, registering the new values of the box parameters. So we move the, our box and here is a new keyframes and that is the old keyframe okay now we can just scroll our timeline bar and we see that the box is moving well what does a keyframe do is to interpolate values uh, through the time with um, these keyframes for example if the value set to the frame 0 was zero and the value set to the frame frame 10 was 10 then the value at the frame 5 will be automatically 5 this is a really stupid example we can animate uh, every kind of parameter with keyframes in 3d studio max for example let's uh, get back to frame 20 we can rotate our box with the rotate tool We see rotation is animated through the frames. This is really, really a great, a great way to work with 3D Studio Max. Also, scale doesn't matter. We can scale our box down. Okay. We see the box is uh, is uh, decreasing in size through the time. Uh, we can use the uh, auto key also for to with uh, the modify parameter in the modify panel like the land the height the everything we want for example now i can uh, we are at frame 20 i can increase the width and uh, <laughs> as we can see the width the width is affected and if you see there appears a uh, little uh, red lines in the parameter and this means that keyframes is activated for that parameter uh, set key is uh, important because if, if we can move keyframes and 3D as max we can move copy uh, reset keyframes as you want, as you want, just clicking on them and uh, dragging them through the timeline. For example, I put the keyframes that were at the, the position 20 to 43, and the animation now is really longer than before. Uh, we can also copy, um, paste everything we want. We, we can do everything we want with keyframes. Set key creates. Um, how can I see? Uh, can I say uh, intermediate key? F key, for example, if uh, now I press set key, then I set I press set key with this 
with this uh, button I uh, automatically create a new keyframe in the position in the timeline position we were uh, and this is really useful to reset to create a, to let your job really faster this is a really useful tool to generate a new keyframes <coughs> okay when we finished our animation just re-click on uh, the bo button we used and everything will turn to normal if we still want to animate just re-click on auto key okay this is uh, the fastest way to work to animate with uh, 3d studio max don't forget we can use uh, every shape every parameter every effects every modifier also modifier modifiers can be animated with keyframes like uh, now I set the um, band modifier to our box we increase the, the segments I set the band and I for example turn on auto key and I change the angle value it will automatically bend this is uh, useful really really useful it bends to the time everything can be animated with keyframe in 3d studio max okay thank you for following us this uh, is the end of this tutorial we'll um, make more tutorials uh, uh, for 3d studio max animation in the future thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to ask for new tutorials and to support our activity thank you and goodbye